morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. So today, we've got a little bit of a news update for you lovely ladies and gentlemen, featuring some new Pokemon products, and a magazine which I probably shouldn't buy, but you all probably know me well enough to know at this stage that I almost certainly will. Now, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start off with a little bit of a rant and a little bit of disappointment, because, to put it bluntly, Ultra Pro have done it again. Yeah. Uh, there's a new lineup they are releasing called Haunted Hollow. Now, the other day, I told you about their Seaside collection. And I was not very complimentary about the Seaside collection. Now, one thing I do need to point out very, very clearly here. This is purely my opinion. You may well disagree with me. If you do, that is absolutely fine. Go ahead and disagree. We all like different things at the end of the day. So if I'm telling you that I think these products are kind of lazy and frankly not great, and you look at them and go, what's what you're on about? They look awesome then cool, ignore me and go buy them. You go for it. At the end of the day, the products we should be buying are the ones we like, and then in theory, we'll get more of them. But if we look at this Haunted Hollow playmat next to that Seaside playmat, you'll see that we've got a very, very similar thing going on here. And essentially, what we've got is a bunch of stock Ken Sugimori artwork on a fairly generic background. And here's the thing. You may have told by my thumbnails that graphic design is, it's not a strong point for me. So my thumbnails tend to be kind of simple and to the point because I can't make flashy thumbnails because that's not where, that, that, that's not my strength. That's not where my strength lies, unfortunately. I think I'm quite good at giving you the news and I like to think that, you know, my style of presenting is pretty good. There are, there are things I think are good about these videos, but the thumbnails tend to be to the point, because I don't have that graphic design know-how. I could make this playmat. I could have made this playmat. And that's my biggest issue with these kind of products. You'll notice, and I made this point last time, when I make a chandelier video about a new chandelier card, at the beginning of the video, I will show you this image of chandelier. And the reason I show you this image of chandelier is very simple. It is the generic stock Ken Sugimori artwork, and that seems to me to be the most respectful picture to use. That is essentially the picture that Pokemon have put out as, hey, this is your kind of generic chandelier image. So that's the one I should be using, because that's the one the Pokemon company have put out there. This is literally just five of those images resized and put on a fairly generic kind of spooky nighttime with trees background. And just like I told you with the Seaside products, I don't like this. Because, I mean, if we head on over to Japan, one of, as far as I'm concerned... One of the coolest products they've released in a while, and why I never actually went and got this up till now, I don't know, I need to fix this, but it was the B playmat set. And you get playmat, sleeves, deck box, and a box to hold it all in. But if you look there, you've got a brand new image of B posing there with Hitmontop and Machamp and Pangoro and Surfetched. And it's a beautiful piece of brand new bespoke artwork, which was commissioned and drawn for these products, and it's absolutely brilliant. The other day, I showed you the Unibuga crossover with Pokemon. And again, this is very stylized. Some of you will love it, some of you won't. But we've got a Japanese artist which has been commissioned to draw these kind of pictures. And it's all cool and bespoke and new. There is absolutely no way I could do this. And there is absolutely no way I could do the B-Play map. But... If I could find a background, not only could I make this Haunted Hollow merchandise, but I could make it in five minutes flat once I had the background. And this is why I'm slightly disappointed. And the thing is, I like Ghost Pokemon. Chandler is a favourite of mine. I'd love to have a Chandler playmat. But I am not a fan of these kind of products because it is just stock images of Pokemon copied and pasted onto a blank background. And I'm sorry, this is just not what I'm into. And even if you're into Ghost Pokemon, I think we can do better. Now, the entire range that is out there, we have got a playmat. We've got ourselves a full view deck box. This is the one that comes around for $3 and is 
Let's just start off a 10. These are the kind where you go and buy like 100 of them and keep all your decks in them. These are kind of cool. I've got some black and white ones I picked up cheap the other day, which were Ultra Pro and are kind of cool. And I like them very much indeed. They've got Reshiram and Zekrom on. And I went and bought like a dozen of them. And if I see these on sale for like a pound in the future, I'll go and buy a dozen of these. It's not that they're not cool products. It's that there are so many deck boxes and sleeves and playmats out there the, this kind of stock artwork on generic background, I don't think we need it. Now, we do also have a 9-pocket binder and a 9-pocket portfolio. I believe the binder is one you can add pages to and the portfolio is one that's kind of already in there. A set of sleeves which just feature Gengar. And again, if you're a Gengar fan, these are cool sleeves that you may well want to be picking up. A 4-pocket portfolio, 4 cards per page. A 2-inch album... And a deluxe gaming drove. Now, this is a $50 product. And you might be thinking, well, hang on a second. What's a deluxe gaming trove? Well, good news. There is another one coming from the folks at Ultra Pro. And that features Pikachu. Now, this is a kind of product which I think Ultra Pro do a... And again, this is nothing but my personal opinion. But this is a product I think Ultra Pro do a far better job of. You've still got the generic Kentsugamori artwork of Pikachu here. But you'll notice you've got the black and yellow two-tone design. But in the yellow, you've got the alternating lightning energy symbols, Pokeball silhouette. You've got your Pikachu there. And I think these are far better products. Now, if we take a little bit of a look inside, you can notice that basically it is like a shoulder bag, which is then separated into compartments that you are supposed to use to take multiple decks, etc. around. The official description says it is a 15-inch horizontal design and it perfectly stores a playmat and several Ultra Pro deck boxes. Although, don't tell anyone, it will actually fit non-Ultra Pro deck boxes. Though you can see there, you've got the faux leather. I think it's faux leather. I could be wrong about that. But the Pokeball design deck box, which is among the coolest deck boxes Ultra Pro have made. Also, and I don't know if you can see it properly on any of the pictures, but, oh yes you can. The zip actually have a little lightning energy symbol on there, which I do very, very much appreciate. Now, these are kind of cool, and if you're taking a playmat and a bunch of decks, as we all tend to do when we go to these tournaments, these seem like the kind of products you want to be into. However, I do need to caution you just a tiny bit here. Because the lovely Primal Lugia has done a little bit of digging and found out that this deluxe gaming trove can actually be picked up with an RRP of $35.99. It is the same product, however, it's just a generic blank design. It's just black. You don't get all the Pokemon designs on them. So essentially, do you want to pay an extra $14, which works out to just a hair under 40%, to have the Pokemon images, bearing in mind they are basically stock artwork? And the answer might be yes, and if the answer is yes, that is absolutely fine. You go for it. Like I say, we've got the Gengar one, and we've or the Ghost one, really, and the Pikachu one. But you are literally paying an extra 40% to get the design on there. And I've said I'm not a huge fan of the design. That's my opinion. You think what you like, ladies and gentlemen. That is it's part of the fun, to be honest with you. But I'm afraid these kind of products, when we get them through, I just I feel like it's a missed opportunity, if I'm honest with you. What is not a missed opportunity, and frankly something I did not expect to be coming along, there is going to be Pokemon featured on the cover of a men's lifestyle magazine. A uh, non-no magazine. Men's non-no, as it were. And essentially, it's going to be on the cover, and it is... The Nagaba crossover I mentioned as an example of a playmat earlier in this particular video. Now... There is a special appendix, which is a sticker sheet. Yeah, that's right. An actual sticker sheet. <laughs> I love this. And this is basically why I want to go and pick up this magazine. And I know I shouldn't. 
I know that I am a grown up and although I'm learning Japanese, I can't read Japanese yet. And I have children, I probably have better things to spend my money on than a Japanese men's lifestyle magazine that I probably wouldn't read even if I could read Japanese. But it comes with a free sticker sheet with Pokemon on. I'm only human, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, fine. It's not quite up there with that illustration magazine I showed you a while ago, which had that absolutely brand new amazing artwork on the cover from Mitsuhiro Arita. And had a bunch of mock-up cards inside that never actually got made, but that's not the point. And I will definitely want to read when I can read Japanese well enough. But it's another Japanese magazine which is featuring Pokemon. And you know what? For me right now, I'll take it, ladies and gentlemen. I will take it. So there we go. I would be super interested here to know what you think about these Ultra Pro products using the stock artwork. I've told you I'm not a fan, but I would really like to know if I'm in the minority here or whether a lot of people tend to agree with me. So let me know about that. If you would pick up this Japanese magazine, anything else you want to talk about in the comment section, go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio